So now we are going on the Alolan protagonist and uh, I know a lot of you guys are super excited about this one as well because of Elio and Celine or uh, well, what's her name? Jeez. Uh, yeah, Celine. <laughs> Jeez. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be taking a look at Elio first and he's going to be a support type and uh, he's actually pretty solid from what I saw at a quick glance. So. Um, let's just get right into it. Um, he's going to be a water support type and he's going to be weak to e, uh, to grass, sorry. And uh, for his passive 1, he's going to have propelling move 5, has a very good chance of charging the user's move gauge by 1 when the user's Pokemon uses a move. So not bad at all. Um, and then for passive 2, he's going to have first aid 4, and that's going to help with survivability of course. And then for passive 3, team inflict and heal 3. Has a moderately good chance of restoring the HP of all ally synchros when a status move used by the Pokemon is successful. So that's not bad. That's not bad. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> Who am I kidding? That's good. Um, anytime uh, a support can heal the entire team off of one move is going to be good. Um, and then at level 130. Oh, wait. Before we get into the stats, if you guys are interested in theme skills, they're going to have... Uh, water support, Alola support, uh, main character support, and uh, nature lover support. So yeah, there. Pretty powerful stuff <laughs> if you guys are interested in that. Um, so yeah, now at level 130, their HP is going to be sitting at 575. Uh, physical attack, 224. Um, defense, or physical defense, sorry, uh, 211. Special attack, 266. Uh, special defense, 248, which is pretty high actually. Um, and then their speed is 221, so pretty slow, but defensively, they're good. Especially uh, special defensively, because at uh, 6 stars, their defense stat is going to be pretty good. So they're going to be nice and bulky. Um, yeah, <laughs> they'll be good. Especially with the healing that they're going to be able to do when they get the status move on. Like, They'll be great, they'll be great. Um, so for the moveset, they're going to have Sparkling Area, or Aria. Um, and it's all opponents, and so they're gonna have a water AoE. So that's not bad for a support type. That's pretty solid. And they're gonna have X special defense all, and uh, they're gonna have Sing, and that's gonna put uh, everyone to sleep. Not everyone, but they're gonna be putting an ally to sleep, which is good. Um, and it's a 45% accuracy move, which is gonna suck. Um, but let's see if they have any uh, accuracy up in their training move, which is called We've Got Tricks. And uh, it's for all allies. Raises the speed of all ally sinkers. Uses a maximum of three slot, uh, three slots of the user's move gauge based on the amount used. This move raises all ally sinkers attack and special attack up to four stat ranks. So that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, so if you're gonna be going for like healing and accuracy and everything, then having Someone on the team to increase accuracy for Sing is going to be pretty good because with uh, Team Inflict and Heal 3, you're probably going to want their accuracy to be up so that you can put them to sleep and heal up your entire team as well. Um, and that's going to be good too because since it's not AoE, you're going to be able to spam that. So like you could put one Pokemon to sleep and then the third, po the second Pokemon to sleep and then the third one, and then you'll be getting a decent amount of healing for the whole team, which is going to be good. Um, so yeah, like. Honestly, Elio, I feel, is a good support. Not the best, but, like, uh, if you use him right, he's going to be very good. And he's going to help the team survive a lot longer in battle, too. Um, but, yeah. And, again, shout-out to Absolutely, of course. Because um, everything that we sh that I show on the channel for data mine information is because of this guy. So, I'll have all of his links in the description below. Or his Twitter link in the description. And if you want to take a look at any of this yourself, you can go to his Twitter and look uh, for yourself as well. Um, but now let's go to Celine, which is the one that I'm more interested in. And she's gonna have Decidueye. Decidueye is such a cool Pokemon. And she's gonna be a Grass Striker. And she's gonna be weak to uh, Ice type. And for passive 1, she's gonna have Hold Hostage 5. Powers up moves when the target is restrained. And uh, passive 2, Hold and Hit 5. Uh, has a very good chance of charging the user's move gauge by 1 when an attack is successful against a restrained opponent. Damn, okay. <laughs> Not bad, not bad. Uh, the synergy between the passes so far, pretty good. And then she has critical speed 5. Has a very good chance of racing the user's speed when a move is a critical hit. Um, so yeah, not bad, not bad. Not the best, but I mean, it's it's pretty solid. Um, and then for the theme skills, again, if anyone's interested about that, Grass Strike, Alola Strike, and Character Strike, and Nature Lover Strike. For level 130, HP is going to be at 561. Physical Attack, 341. Physical Defense 132, 
Special Attack 331, Special Defense 144, and Speed 242. And when you look at this Pokemon, you think that they would be pretty fast? Um, but yeah, the stats would say otherwise, but I mean, like, they do increase their speed quite a bit when you do get critical hits and everything, so then that makes up for their speed being a little bit lower. Um, for their moveset, they're gonna be a Ghost and Grass type, which is gonna be nice. And, uh, for move one, they're gonna have Spirit Shackle, applies the re Restrain effect to the target, which is gonna be nice, because then it's gonna help with, um, powering up moves, so they get a little, um, uh, multiplier there which is gonna be nice and then they also have a very good chance of charging the move gauge by one when an attack is successful against a uh, restrained uh, Pokemon so not bad and then they're gonna have X attack leaf blade and um, stare them down and stare them down does or is or does or the, the effects are sharply raises the user defense special defense and critical hit rate and makes the user gradually heal himself so not bad and then on top of uh, Leaf Blade having an increased uh, uh, critical hit rate, you're going to be getting critical hits no problem, allowing you to increase your speed. So that's not bad. The synergy there with uh, all that is pretty good. Um, but uh, let's go to their grid and see what they have to offer over there. All right, so let's start off with Elio since we did start off with him at the beginning of the video. So we have the typical stat increases and then we got uh, Sparkling Aria power-ups and then power reserve four and uh, you must be uh, two out of five and higher to activate that or to be able to grab that and then you got more sparkling aria power up three or you got sparkling aria power-ups with uh, move gauge refresh for sparkling aria and uh, you need to be two out of five or higher to grab that and then you got sparkling aria mind games four and you need to be three out of five or higher to grab that and Sparkling Aria has a good chance of lowering the, spe uh, the target's special defense when an attack is successful. Um, and then they got Sparkling Aria power-ups again, and then they got Team Sync Cure 9. Removes all status conditions from all ally sync pairs when after using a sync move, and you need to be a 3 out of 5 for that as well. Uh, and then they got Unbending, so defense cannot be lowered. Um, and then they got uh, Good Nightmare 3. Um, and you need to be 2 out of 5 for that, but powers up moves when the target is asleep. So they're going to be getting a nice multiplier for that because they do have Sing. Um, I'm just hoping they have some kind of accuracy for Sing in their uh, Sync grid, but I guess we'll find out. Um, they got Sync, Move Gauge, Refresh 1, and you need to be 2 out of 5 for that. Uh, they got Impatient 1, has a small chance of reducing the user's Sync move countdown by 1 when the user is hit by an attack and move. And you need to be 3 out of 5 for that, but... Because of them being a support and then having uh, pretty solid defense, you're probably going to want to pick that up for them when you do have them 3 out of 5. Uh, because reducing the sync move countdown is going to be very beneficial, especially if you have them at 6 stars. You're going to want to get their sync move off as fast as possible. Um, and then they got uh, Sparkling Aria Defense Crush 4. And uh, lately, you guys know how obsessed I've been with uh, Defense Crush, so I probably picked this one up. Um, and then they got uh, stat increases, and then they got haste, so speed cannot be lower, but it's not going to matter because they're pretty slow anyway, so whatever, let them get slower, it's not going to be a big deal. Um, and they got stat increases, um, we've got tricks MP refresh, and you need to be 2 out of 5 for that. Sparkling Aria trip up 4, you need to be 3 out of 5 for that or higher, but has a good chance of lowering the target speed when an attack is successful. So not bad, and then they got speed entry 1. 2 out of 5 or higher in order to grab that. They got Sparkling Aria Team Fast Track 4. Uh, 3 out of 5 and higher as well. Um, but has a good chance of raising the speed style of all ally sync pairs when the user's Pokemon uses a move. Not bad, not bad. Um, more power ups for Sparkling Aria, X Defense, um, MP Refresh, uh, Sparkling Aria Power Up. Quick here, so removes Confused Flinch or Trap Condition from the user once per during battle. But I wouldn't really recommend picking this up unless uh, you really want to depending on the battle um, and then they got team critical nightmare three uh, three to five and higher in order to grab that but has a moderately good chance of raising the critical hit rate of all ally sinkers when an attack it when the attack move is successful against an opponent that is asleep so not bad not bad at all uh, so three to five I feel it is worthy at being there <laughs> But, I mean, it is what it is, what can you do? So it seems like all these sync pairs are pretty expensive uh, this time around, which I guess is fine. Um, and then they got um, the sync move power-up, so not bad. And how nice of Celine to be right under 
um, Elio. So, yeah, no time wasted there, but... <laughs> Um, but Elio, like, his grid is pretty solid, but just like the problem with, um, not problem, but just like the issue with, um, uh, Mate and Berg, they're gonna be pretty expensive in order for you to get their full potential, but, I mean, with any Synchro, 3 out of 5 is their max potential, but, uh, obviously to get a lot of good stuff, you need to be at th 2 out of 5 and higher in order to get uh, a lot of the good stuff, but, uh, regardless, their grid is pretty solid. Um, but, uh, let's go to Celine now. Uh, so we got the typical stat increases, we got Leaf Blade power-ups, we got uh, Move Gauge Refresh for Leaf Blade, and you need to be 2 out of 5 or higher to grab that. Uh, Leaf Blade Critical, uh, Population 3. Uh, Leaf Blade has a moderately good chance of charging the user's Move Gauge by 1 when the move is successful, or the move is a critical hit. And with how easily you're able to get critical hit to the max, that's gonna be no problem, man. With Leaf Blade having an increased chance of getting a crit, this is probably something you're gonna want to pick up my personal uh, opinion right there but i mean i think that's good <laughs> i think that's good you're probably gonna want to pick that up and then you got uh catastrophe uh, catastrophe too and you need to be a three out of five or higher for that but powers up the sync moves if they become critical hits so that's a power up for their sync move um and then they also got spirit shackle power ups uh power reserve three and you need to be two out of five or higher to grab that uh, and then you got Spirit Shackle, Move Gauge Refresh, 2 out of 5 or higher. Uh, more Spirit Shackle Power Ups, but uh, 2 out of 5 or higher. And then we've got uh, Retraining Sync Up 5. Powers of Sync Moves when the target is restrained. And that's easy to do because of Spirit Shackle, and you need to be 3 out of 5 or higher for that. Held Hostage 2, Powers Up the Sync Moves, or Powers Up the Tar... Sorry, Powers Up Moves when the target is restrained. So that's another Power Up. So they're going to be hitting pretty solid, but... Uh, we'll see how much damage you're actually able to do. So I'm not gonna have high hopes for anything anymore Until we actually see them in battle, but they do seem pretty solid um, And then they got steady aim critical hit cannot be lowered um, So I mean, I guess you could pick that up if you want to Because um, you could get that at one out of five <laughs> Um, then you got X attack MP refresh and uh, you can get that at uh, one out of five it looks like so that's okay um and then you got uh, speedy entry one um and uh, raises the speed when the pokemon enters the battle and you need to be two out of five or higher for that spare shackle power up two out of five or higher inertia the higher the speed stat uh the more it powers up the sync move so another multiplier for the sync move um and you need to be two out of five for that by the way uh critical healing four has a good chance of restoring the user's hp when the user lands a critical hit and you're gonna be able to land a critical hit like almost all the time um so yeah that's gonna be good you're probably gonna want to pick that up so that's a three to five but i mean that is good <laughs> that's actually good um and then they got haste so speed cannot be lowered um and then you got uh stare them down mp refresh so their training move and that's at two out of five or higher more leaf blade power ups uh restraint uh, restraining countdown one has a small chance of restore or reducing the sync move countdown by one when an attacking move is successful against a restraint opponent that's good and that's a three out of five so quite a bit of solid stuff on their grid here and then they got ramming speed the more the user's speed has been raised the more it powers up moves so another multiplier there at three out of five or higher and then you got their sync move power up so yeah they're good they're good their sync move or uh, their their grid is pretty good uh, but you need to get them 3 out of 5 in order for them to be doing that much damage and the healing for every crit that you do. So, yeah, they're good. Um, I'm definitely going to be trying to go for uh, Celine and, um, uh, and uh, her, her starter Pokemon. Um, like They definitely seem like a lot of fun for sure. And I definitely need another good Grass-type Striker. Uh, I know Brendan and uh, Sceptile are very good, but uh, I don't know. I really like Celine and uh, and her Pokemon. Their moveset and everything, like it, it does look like a lot of fun. Um, but let me know what you guys think of both of them. Uh, I think they're pretty good. Um, I wouldn't say they're the best striker and the best support, but when you have them paired together, I think they're going to be a nice solid combo. But obviously, there's other Synchros in the game that uh, can pair up better with them. Um, but uh, we'll see how they perform in battle once they officially come out. Um, but uh, their grids are pretty solid. Their grids are pretty solid. Out of them two, 
I prefer Celine. Uh, that's just my personal op opinion. Uh, let me know which ones you guys like more and which ones you're going to be summoning for if you are. But that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.